All right, so back to the ship. Yes, because I did all the crafting stuff. Well, where's the homestead? So there's not another homestead that I see. I am from Mars. I am from Mars. What's the like men are from boys are from Jupiter to get more stupider? Should I play a game? I don't want to. <gasps> Wait, it's fixed. Hi, Lady Crazy Nod. Hi, Elians. It's fixed. Hi, Disaster. Hi, Night Voice. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Dr. Perry for sure, for sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding because Sam Adams is thick. And I'm proud to be an American. And at least I know I'm free. And I think I know the stuff and the stuff to love my family. Sail to Martha's Vineyard to equip the Aquila with cannon. <laughs> Nation. USA! USA! Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. Oh. That's weird. She is solid. He's saying she. Aye, weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore, can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out, show you what she can do first hand? Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. <laughs> All in the mainsail. Get up the rigging. Hand over fist. Come on, men. This is a prequel. Let's get her out where she needs to be. This is a little be. teaser for Black Flag. No, they are. We we got that in the last Assassin's Creed episode. He was like, because Connor was like, it. And, he, and then <laughs> peg leg. Sorry, not peg leg. Faulkner was like, no, Come on, lad. all no ships time are she. Testing the waters, literally. Double time, boy. It's time you learnt. Come on, lad, no. Come on, come on, she won't bite. <gasps> You're connected to her now. Laugh, sail. Ha ha! The Aquila flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Whoa! Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. I've never played a game like this. It's 
Someone's gonna go overboard. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Oh, nice. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. That is fun. I love the singing. Cool. It's like Connor's getting his first car, but it's a giant boat. Yes. Cottages. We're close. I'm glad I'm not feeling seasick because that was something I worried about Black Flag that I would get seasick. Drop anchor. We'll go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Hey, Red. Did an option of optional objective. You know who you are making fun of me for ignoring them. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. <laughs> we are looking for David and Richard Clutterbook. Hmm. He seems nice so strong. To see you too. It's like he has a. a Happiness to him Robert and joy. Faulkner, where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No, between contracts at the moment. Parallel talk. <laughs> well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for he seems more into a sober, don't y'all think? <laughs> a good show. It's nice. The killer is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Uh oh. Where is Charles Lee? Oh shit. I don't much care. <gasps> Benjamin Church. Oh, boy. <gasps> Who's that? Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. Ew. <laughs> Could you finally realize you're a shite sailor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out. Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come they're on. They're going to follow because they're weird. Biddle. Did he mention Biddle? I'm sorry. I think that's a pineapple if Faulkner ma mentioned Biddle. I don't remember it in the conversation. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my gosh, sunset? Connor, take the wheel. Thank you, Tech. Let's let's read about Bailey. Amanda Bailey. Amanda Bailey was a well-known and well-liked innkeeper in Martha's Vineyard around the time of the American Revolution. She was born in North Carolina in 1730, the oldest of a large family. Her mother died when she was 14, leaving young Amanda to work in health care for her younger brothers and sisters alone. Amanda first crossed paths with Robert Faulkner when she was a teenager. He was working for the United Company of Merchants. She was a barmaid, clearly a recipe for romance. They exchanged letters. I suppose it was te the texting of its day, which stopped when Faulkner disappeared from Halifax to join the assassins. Sad face. <laughs> Despite reports that Faulkner had fallen overboard and was dead, Amanda felt that he was still alive somewhere. And after several years, she went in search of him, possibly so she could give him hell for abandoning her, but I'm speculating. She never found Faulkner and eventually settled in Martha's Vineyard, taking a job working in a local inn, which she later purchased. Hell yeah, girl boss, gatekeep. Um, Amanda had a born talent for leadership and organization. She was responsible for setting up the first school in the area, not to mention advocating for improvements to the docks to bring in more business. Her inn was a hub for gossip during the revolution, particularly if you wanted the latest in ship movements. It will probably come as no surprise to you that she was a spy for the Patriots, but that's only been publicly known since 1919 when a box of her personal correspondence was found, including some coded notes in Benjamin Talmadge's handwriting. That's so cool. You go. Hey, should I read this? Can I read this? Or is it a spoiler? Pineapple. You may not think it to look at him how? You mean now? But this man was once the mentor of a powerful branch of the assassins, the Colonial Brotherhood. Achilles' life before he was an assassin isn't well documented. It seems that most of the records were destroyed when the Templars nearly wiped out the order in 1763. From what I do have, Achilles was recruited in the mid-1730s and became a mentor in 1746. He had a gift for both recruitment and organization, so before long was head of a crew of assassins that spanned the colonies and much of the frontier. Achilles strengthened the ties between the order and the nations of the Eric Iroquois Confeder Confederacy. Um, I forgot how to say the tribe name. <laughs> as far as our records show, Connor is the first Native American to actually become an assassin. Oh! Okay, here we go again. I have the wheel. Full sail. Uh, I think it's glitching. What? Okay. <laughs> you are bugged. Here we go. I know they really trust Connor. What the hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar. The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. 
We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. He's never used a gun, I think. Imagine if shipwrecks were just still around and you could explore them all the time. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around broadside and when all guns are on target, call fire. Some are, but like, just imagine finding them all the time. Yeah, go scuba diving. Fire at the rear of the wreck. Oh, I can control it from here? Fire! Well done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Some old powder in there. Good. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Wait, what? <laughs> Not bad for a spot, Captain. <laughs> you are a fast learner. Thank Provided you. something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Connor, you're doing amazing. I'm kind of scared for Connor's... The low up? Like... He's already so powerful? Night, everyone. I am turning off my phone for the night. Good night. Charlie! If anyone calls me, I will not answer. Good night. Thank you so Enjoy much your guns and bottles of for the 111 chaos. bits. I appreciate you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Why is he shooting shit. at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king. Beast, take your pick. What do we do? No tells but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivels on him, Captain. How do you brace? Oh, take cover. Be twattled, another one. You're going down. Where the bloody bitch. Hell did she come from? You're going down. Brace! I love this.
for the freaking 10 gift subs. Everyone's hyped because I'm going to freaking love Black Flag. We all know it. Thank you so much. A thousand pardons. No, get the fuck out of here, hate them. Pirate's Creed, let's get Yes. I'm a pirate, baby. It's going to become my entire fucking personality. I'm going to be a pirate. I'm going to get pirate clothes. <laughs> Thank you, Fireball, for the 100 bits. Boy, Jay boy. <laughs> now we best be getting back at the old mantle at my guts for gardens. Rebranding the tower into the ship. Hell yeah. <laughs> 17 years old and sunk a frigate first time sailing holy shit and robert didn't just take the ship back once it started getting crazy it's like it's good mentoring you know it's like good it's really good for well i think he sees something in connor and he trusts achilles and also it's just a good mentor thing i feel i feel like that's very i got him all assassins you get what creed. i need and i'll give them to you except Simple. william you got a ship william doesn't do that to boot. who is that man him some old salt always on about letters he's got from captain kid nonsense really but he doesn't hurt no one so i'll leave him be yep talk to him if you fancy but be warned he'll chew your ear off anyway the Aquila's here for you if you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. I now thought... I implore you to head up the hill before the old man oh comes out gosh, of retirement. Oh my I can do that when me. I want? Holy crap. He weeks. And not even a goodbye before oh. you <laughs> Oh, he's actually mad. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry anymore. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. <laughs> You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. <laughs> Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. <laughs> he looks so hard time. Hard time. Yes, I'm chills, 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 chills. Ch oh my gosh. Hi, Desmond. Welcome back, Desmond. We all know you're happy cutie to hear pie. Actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not <laughs> safe. Random NPC just we'll make exactly sure. sit around here. <laughs> I mean, to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage William the band, too. William There's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Yeah, it's easy. Easy peasy playing as Desmond. Local utility companies have assured Get the public out. that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. <laughs> if only they knew. What's <laughs> this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us it's with a, a feed while we're on a, mission. The fidget spinner? It's a this fidget spinner. Let's talk to each other. That's a fidget we're spinner. Almost there, so <laughs> the artifact is in an office penthouse in lower Manhattan. 
At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? A parachute? Bro, do you even care about your son? <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Connor's 18 when he gets the outfit, by the way. Oh, dad of the year, everybody. Testing. Yep. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. No you know, William, some positive reinforcement would go a long way. I've got pictures. Nice. Do we follow? This is a rhetorical question. Nice, Do we follow Desmond through all of this? Like, is it only Desmond's ancestors? Or maybe Desmond's children? Oh, buddy. I love how regular he looks. I know we make fun of him for the backpack and like the the satchel and stuff, but I love that he's just like a regular dude. I said it was rhetorical. <laughs> you guys just have your typing fingers. Okay, I can't answer that because it's rhetorical. <laughs> Reinforce. Our lips are sealed. That's what Caleb does when he's seen something and I haven't. He's just like, it makes like a million facial expressions. So he doesn't spoil. He's like. Can you see Meg? She talks about us telling spoilers. Well, that's no surprise. Can you see them? See the trolls? They have no fear, so many spoilers to reveal. It doesn't matter what she says. It's a special game we can't invest. Our lips are sealed. Our lips are sealed. He is. I mean, he's met. Uh, quite a few of his ancestors so I mean the bleeding effect has to be he's like superhuman right now what do y'all think you would get from your ancestors be honest now be honest now I would probably have an insane alcohol tolerance like vodka <laughs> vodka um, I also have some Greek. I have some Greek in me. So like I, I tan really well. And even if I get sunburned, it turns into a tan very quickly. Oh, <laughs> That's about it. <sighs> Something <Seriously>, violent. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh my god, I want to jump. <laughs> oh my god, jump. <laughs> that was a pretty fucking white person question. What cute things do you think you got from your ancestors? And all of y'all are like... <laughs> like the minority groups are like, trauma? How about that? Jesus. My apologies. Oh, God. It's a full moon. Highwayman. Yes. That's pretty cool paper. A thousand pardons. Yeah. And generational trauma is a real thing. Persecution. Oof. My fear of night heights could never. 
I, for me, like I do get a little wobbly. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the taste. Shut but up, Sean. They've been watching him since he was Ezio, so like I I understand why he's being goofy about it because they know he's capable. You know, they've been watching his his movie. They know he can't fail. Is there Assassin's Creed VR? Because that's literally like the Animus. How do I do this? Oh God! <laughs> Can I reach? Almost there, Desmond. No. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine. Don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! <laughs> joke. It was a joke. <laughs> or was it? Look, she probably works better when she's high, okay? That ain't no problem. She's probably more relaxed and can do the job better. Take it easy. Hi, Anna, aka Nitro Racing Queen. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late and you'll miss the building. Uh, well, marijuana is a, is a, it's medicinal for a reason. For some neurodivergent brains, it can really help. Not for me. I'm not, I'm not high right now. <laughs> Let's make that clear. It's also not legal in my state. Um, it doesn't work for my, my brain usually. Just recreationally. Hi, armored bear. Okay, I'm scared. Leap of faith. <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh, what if I don't want to? Oh my god. I can't get a picture? Okay. Now! Open your chute now! Have a little faith, Desmond. Good job. In this whole time. I'm Batman. That wasn't so bad. Oh, don't jinx so, it. You must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you. But the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. Oh. Hey, Bill, could you have warned me, maybe? Hey, Bill, Bill, Bill. So who the hell is yeah. Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. 
the assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Well, I want to talk to you guys. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. Oh, for sure. We are being watched. Yeah. <laughs> by Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is or maybe like to us in the, the car? To Ezio? In the car? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. Maybe. There's still so many rooms we don't have he access to. He was like, to. I saw this guy and he was like blonde. But and he asked me like who you were. Down here, or he asked me to ask you who you were. Still alive. And he was like, oh, that that's Daniel. And then, but I'm not going to talk old. about this now. So powerful, yeah, but not that I powerful. wrote a little scene for you guys. They came between. down here looking for a way to survive. <laughs> Maybe they found one. Yeah. Was it weird seeing Cross? What do you mean? It's different for you. You don't know about what happened, I guess. For a long time, he was important to us. He was a different person. Sean said he was a sleeper agent, like Lucy. It was different. She made a choice, but Cross, if you read the files, Abstergo just, they, they did terrible things to him. Rebecca? You're lucky. We all are. We have people Wait. who care about us. Who look Is out this for from... us. He was all alone, and the people he thought he could trust, they used him. Did you know him? Did we no, hear about him? I knew Hannah. Who's In the uh, DLC, Lost she Archive? She tried to help him. She trusted him. But there or was, was it after Subject 16? She Comics. stayed behind so the others could escape. Tried to reason with him to see if she could fix things. Well, what happened? What do you think happened? He killed her. Oh. That's what he does. That's all he knows how to do. Sometimes it seems like that's all any of us know how to do. Oh. Rebecca. Her voice at the end. So let me get this straight. He was an agent. He was like subject 16. Where he was sent to kind of. He was an agent sent by the Templars? Because Lucy also confuses me too. She was originally an assassin. Originally a, an assassin who then went to be... He was forced to serve. I'm I'm confused. He was... So Daniel was originally an assassin. He was captured, brainwashed, and turned. Okay. Thank you. I just want to be alone right now. Okay. Lucy made a choice. This guy's different. So she started off as an assassin and then became more swayed by the Templars because she didn't have a good experience with the assassins because something that stuck with me is the way she, like, emailed Subject 16 and was like, um... You know, they're the both sides are bad, but the assassins really are using you as pawns. Son, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I, I shouldn't have lashed out like that. You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. 
Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But... But it's important you understand love that. it didn't come from a bad place. <laughs> You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. <laughs> Justin is just like, truce? Bro! I didn't cons- I don't know, I didn't really think I did anything bad. Truce? I brought you into this world and I'm doing a really shitty job of everything. Truce? <laughs> I can't believe it's taken <laughs> Whatever, me so long sure. to ask, but... Sure. How's mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. Hm. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. What? Maybe when we're done. Right. Can they say when hi to his mama? <laughs> it's too risky. I mean, I guess he's protecting her. Have, have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But it's impossible. There are existential differences, insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But I knowing believe what's that. about to happen... Wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. I bet she tired of William's <laughs> shit, too, yeah. Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? Subject 16. We have, and it's never worked. Remember? We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. Okay. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. Mm. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Oh, is that even possible? I don't think that's possible. Probably not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since, well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. And I think what I'm feeling right now, and probably what Desmond is feeling, is that while, like, I might lean more towards the assassins, I think throughout history, maybe, like, one group has been more ethical and the other hasn't, but then it shifts and it's like a wave. Um, and perhaps I don't know enough, but I could say that like in general, the assassins do a better job of being ethical and I value freedom. So like, I'm going to lean towards that, but I'm sure there have been times where, you know, Al Mu'alim was the leader of the assassins and he was corrupt. He was technically a Templar, but still it is the people in charge. So like, I'm sure there have been times in history where the assassins are actually being run by someone crappy. And it's like the Templars are the good guys. Um, but I think everyone is, is, is open to like looking at each of their texts and, and morals and stuff Did and you choosing. Did me, Dad, when I was gone? Every day. Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look, searching for your name or variations of it, hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Yeah, the sad thing is I believe that. It's just so messed up. Um, and also, I just don't think... I know William is a very overprotective but he's almost fanatical and 
like I know he wants to win, he wants to win, but we've seen mentor, student, parent, child relationships where a, a looser tie and more freedom, which is in the assassin's morals, works better. So I don't think. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? <sighs> I used to think I knew her well, but clearly that wasn't William's the case. doing the best job. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seems so sincere, though. I'm glad they can have conversations like, she really like wanted this. To make a difference. Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? Everything. Don't get weird on me, Desmond. He's been in the animus, no, it, dude. Fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. He's been... <sighs> All right, then. You should think about getting back in the animus. Oh, my... You've got to find that key. I start to warm up to you, and then I have to wind up. <laughs> this this ring, <laughs> Matt, who gave me my Assassin's Creed package, <laughs> it's not good. Literally, he said everything keeps happening over and over again. He's not doing well mentally. And you're like, well, <laughs> get back in the animus. Shove his head down. Like, Jesus. Fucking gonna punch you, dude. You should probably get back to Connor. Oh, my God. Ah, he's a frustrating parent. Because it's like, I do believe him. Guess what? I do. I do believe he wants what's best for the world. I do believe he wants what's best for for Desmond. I believe he wants Desmond to do a good job. Like, I do believe that he looked for him and was scared and, and worried for him. And I'm, I do believe that he is glad that Desmond is here, but I'm seeing it through my boy's eyes, Desmond's eyes. And this is bullshit. <laughs> he really frustrates me. Yeah. Yeah. It opens up, closes down. <sighs> ah, Desmond, there you are. Maybe it was favor? love bombing. Maybe. That's true. When this is all over. I'd like to try turning the dial back on the animus. Like, all the way back. To the time of the first civilization. You think it would work? There was no real loss of fidelity when yeah, you visited tech. Altair. Then again, that was about a thousand years but ago. But Meg, we need the key to I save the world. 70,000 more. <laughs> sure, I'd be up for it. It'd be interesting to see what things were like back then. Excellent. I think it would prove most enlightening. <laughs> and you know what's sad? Sorry, I have a lot of things to say because I drink coffee and it's 7 o'clock. But like with Lucy and Rebecca and Sean, like Lucy, it still hurts, man. Because I do think she genuinely cared about Desmond. But she was so adamant about breaks and not pushing him too far. Even with Vidic, she was like, he needs to rest. And like was just really they they cared about him and like i still believe um rebecca and sean are just very loving chosen family and they let him take breaks and they chat about stuff and you know with brotherhood i think it was in that little cave that was like the happiest i saw desmond so this is how it started what are you up to just brushing up on my american history I say history. They certainly teach you strange things in the States. Like what? Well, for all the talk of this being a revolutionary war, it was a civil <laughs> one. Well, not that kind of civil. I mean, there was no America versus Britain. It was Brit on Brit action. <laughs> yes, you exactly. You clearly see how the whole thing got started. Exactly. One war gave birth to the yes. other. Yes. You mean the Seven Years' War? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Seems the Crown overspent in its attempt to keep the French out, wound up with a great deal of debt. Believing that the colonists should help to shoulder the burden, new taxes were created. It was a reasonable request, even if oh, Parliament yeah, was Julio, rather, right. well, undiplomatic about it. Well, it's not was really it, fair to tax was people. Was it maybe for a war Assassin's they didn't Creed 2 then? What? Didn't want any part of. <laughs> Did you not notice George Washington with Edward Braddock? He was right there in the <laughs> middle of it. So here you have the Crown spending who knows how much money to secure a place for the colonists to thrive and then when they ask for a little bit of help <laughs> oh, shit. right look 
Think of it this way. But Sam Adams King George is hot. And the colonists, they all go out to dinner, right? And when the bill comes, George asks for them to kick in and pay their share. Fair enough. But keep in mind, he's been taking them out to dinner gratis for decades now. But the colonists, oh no, they insist they only had a glass of water and a side salad. Never mind the table's full of half eaten food and empty bottles of wine. Now, when the king points this out, what do the colonists do? Oh, they flip the table over and they storm out the restaurant. Probably intending to turn later and burn it down. You left out the part where the king pointed a gun at the colonists and asked them to cover dinner for everyone in the restaurant. Right, right, yeah, interesting take. If he pulled out a gun, <laughs> and I'm not sure he did, it would only have been after the hundredth failed attempt at getting them to pay their fair share. This is better than any debate I had in school. Fair share? Oh, well, with a war, apparently. This is, that literally, that conversation is better than any conversation I had in class. Hey, Disney. <laughs> And two, they could chill out. They were training Desmond. Yeah, I agree with Ruby. While it might be a gameplay element, like get back in the animus. Note that Sean and Rebecca say, I don't want to talk right now. I need to get back to this. William is giving orders, you know, and I think it's purposeful. It's definitely purposeful that the writers have so many William lines that are like, okay, get back to work, go, Desmond, you're important, get back in the animus, go. You know, it's, it's the time crunch. There's a, I can understand why he feels like rushed and he's got to get Desmond in there. Um, but I certainly think it's a, it's a character thing and maybe a little bit of a, a game direction, but also mainly how many other character. places like this exist. There are dozens of them, all over the world. And somehow no one's ever found one before us. I don't think that's true. Oh? When I was at Abstergo, Vidic talked about silencing discoveries made by non-Templars. And I'm sure Abstergo has dug up plenty. The things they must know. Mm. Regretting throwing in with us? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just looking forward to when we can finally trounce those bastards so I can dive into their archives. Oh. Yep. Oh, I think I found a lead on another power source. Bless See? Desmond, I'm in the middle of something <laughs> very important right now. <laughs> See? That's a rule. Just follow that as a rule. <laughs> See? <laughs> and he's like, get back at the animus, bitch. Sorry. And I don't hate William, okay? I would punch the shit out of him, but <laughs> I don't hate William. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is, I'm just, I'm always gonna take the kid's side, you know? There's shitty parenting. I'm, it's, it's my thing. I'm always gonna take the kid's side. What can I say? Arthur, that's so true. I remember that. I was like, what's his problem? And people were spoiling for me because they liked it. Like, Sean was hostile towards him. So then I was kind of hostile towards Sean. They were like, no, why would you say that? Why would you say that? It's like, I need to go on the journey. But yeah, it makes it pay off better. Um, what was I going to say? I was gonna say something. Oh, I also love that it's like an American and a Brit just having like a pretty, uh, you know, low stakes conversation about it. It's cool. So I already went here, I already did this. I'm pretty sure. I forgot what I got. Do y'all remember what I got from this? Or maybe I didn't go all the way up. It was a cutscene. I don't think I went up here. Wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Exactly, Arthur. 
very realistic, and I think that's why any anger is totally justified, especially for millennials. Just, yeah, very realistic. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hey, Zeki. I think that was like the millionth time you've backseated. Can I get a Okay, trial by chat. Let's have a public trial. How many times has Zeki <laughs> backseated? <laughs> ban, ban. <laughs> Let's have a civil trial. Depends on if he's British. Zekiary British. <laughs> Time out question mark? That is a very <laughs> That's a very subtle way. It's a very civil way of going about this. I'm confused. How do I get over there? Where was that door? Hand him. Not <laughs> guillotine. I can't see. <laughs> Make him listen to William. Guys. Oh. Not the tar and feathering. What is a fact? Is it fixed, immutable, certain in its existence, and only awaiting discovery? Zeki, just be careful, okay? Now I'm attached to you, just changed. be careful. <laughs> Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. At least she's admitting her mistakes, because she kind of pisses me off a little bit. I don't know. I feel like that's weird. I feel like blasphemous, but she's uh, irritating me a little bit. I don't understand. I don't. It's like we're pawns or something. It's just weird. back to change the past but we could not find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we watched to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained. 
the one you call Minerva. Okay. In time, she too stopped looking and instead began to speak. She called out across time in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. <laughs> the cryptic warnings, the threats. No. Just tell us what you want. Literally. But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. <gasps> Desmond, Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Is it weird that that's kind of satisfying? My therapist would tell me not to judge my feelings. And you know, it's funny because I'm, I judge myself. I'm like, is it bad that I'm irritated by her? And then Desmond blows up and is like, stop it with the cryptic clues. So clearly I'm feeling what Desmond is feeling, but that's a relief in a weird way to me. But because he's he has agency it's showing he has agency and that was something that he did that he had to assassin he is an assassin and like he saw what would happen with her plans i just for some reason that's very satisfying to me judge me all you want i don't know because i thought he was being controlled and so to hear him say like i did that i chose that i'm like hell yeah so do i go back to her Okay, so I'm going... This is the most confusing place. Bill just buys into the red group, but Des Desmond has taught himself agency and intellectual freedom. Yep. And he loved her and... and... Yeah. Whoa. I'm stuck. Oh, here? No. I don't blame the man, Darth, and I'm a terrible person for it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Maybe I'm just a Desmond... Dan. I don't know. Um, it just weirdly. Okay, wait. Maybe these stairs. 
We kill people that need to be killed all the time as Ezio and Connor. And he literally like put aside his love for her and personal feelings. And he did what had to be done. Is this right? Guys, I want out of here. I've about had it. Is it this? Oh, boo me, what's wrong? Oh, here, here, here. Do you know, you can put some fancy lights in here. Boo me, what's wrong? Boo me, sad. Literally, they're like gods and they're just like, here, have fun with this bullshit. Okay. Good luck, Desmond. Thank you. These yeah, are okay. <laughs> times. The already uneasy He's 18, we can simp! And its subjects phrase. And behind are them even older. the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? I really like his voice actor. All these actor. things I must determine. Kana. Only by knowing my enemy can I Spare help a to moment. stop them. Of course. Oh my gosh. Have a look. I love it. Oh. What is it? <laughs> Shimbao. Or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Shao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Connor, can I give you a forehead smooch? That's our boy! That's our boy! Ganondogo. <gasps> yes, my friend. What brings you here? The chief? Is the village all right? Oh my For god, now. I love his look. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making Me preparations for Me and all the Williams. Sale. sale! This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have okay. me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, Seek out Sam Adams in Boston. Yes. Be able to yes. Yes. What have you done? <laughs> when my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this character. Oh shit, defend your convoy. Oh, right. Um, oh my god. He's just built different. Naval missions. <laughs> Connor, I love how dramatic he is. He's practically just as sassy as Ezio. <laughs> He's got a very stubborn, strong will in the, in the best way. Craft weapons and tools. You need to level up artisans by completing homestead missions. Oh, so here's a homestead mission. Connor, it has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, <laughs> no matter the outcome. Yeah. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived oh. during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? I love that when idea. I find a moment, I will try. Very good. <laughs> I'm already busy as fuck, but sure. Sure. Twin holsters. Boston outfit.
<gasps> Two pistols? I don't even know how to make a pistol. Or I don't even have a pistol, do I? Still have... <laughs> He's been holding on to this shit for years. He's been holding on to it. He has a little pile of trinkets that he's had since he was 14. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're gonna have anything to do unless we do more. Wait. <laughs> it's been years. Did my did my convoy come back? Attacked! No! Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> okay. That meat. The meat. <laughs> that meat is definitely. It's definitely bad. Bye, Straubs. Have fun with your homework. Hi, Love Tacos. You can find the convoy on the map and defend it. Peg leg mission. Baston. Am I gonna have multiple homesteads? What happened? Oh God. Right. East Coast, West Coast, Holiday Inn. We at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. I can't really move. I can't use that as a mount? Yes, I can! Oh, we gotta pet the dog. Come here, baby. Why can't I pet it? Pet the fucking dog. Pet the fucking dog! Oh. Well, you didn't even explain it to me, game, so it's not very nice. Well, the convoy's gone. What's happening? Bloody hell. Oh no. Can you help me? Don't think so. Just kidding. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Oh, she's kind of cute, on. though. We need to get Is that my girlfriend? What if the men who did this? My future they girlfriend? Can wait. Your wound cannot. <gasps> uh, Connor is adorable. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a it's young a, it's girl. It's a rhetorical question, per, per M. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. Mm. I prefer the open air. Not much has changed since Ezio's time. Guess what, girl? Now we can be Twitch streamers. <laughs> we get to work now, girl. And we... He did it very gently, Darth. 
You encourage an impulsive thought. I love Connor's voice. I love how it's evolved, too. <laughs> You're right, Rob. Connor! What are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. <laughs> Perfect practice time. Y'all know I love Ezio, but I love Connor a lot so far. I don't understand why people were disappointed. I know there were glitches and stuff. <laughs> I knew it all. I love an intense fellow. You know, I love, I love, uh, uh, I don't know. He's like protective and strong and he's got the tragic backstory, but he's determined. Cocky or charming. But to me, he's very charming. Is it like a also? I know like some maybe it's because he's not very toxic masculinity. I don't know. Okay. Oh my God, this is so cool, guys. I cannot. Move back when you grab. Was that right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, that whistle was the same as Haytham. <gasps> He has his dad's whistle. <laughs> it's genetic. So I don't have a tree right here, unfortunately. Can I use, do I have to use the, oh, I don't have any arrows. Okay, let's go here. This is why this tree is here. William Johnson's opening up some of that Mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. <laughs> Might be we make a good haul up there. I hear tell Lumberin will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and the timber? Oh, no. Shut up, Wolf! Feet skulking around these woods. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty on account of that woman you put a hole in? <gasps> nah, nah. She had it coming. What's she dressed like that for? Oh! 
I love that I'm doing better and it feels smoother and I think it's supposed to guys I think it's supposed to because he's older and more seasoned I love it I don't know why they designed it in a way that makes me feel like I got older <laughs> and better <laughs> maybe it's just placebo but I don't give a fuck that's a good game game development I love the rope dart. Hey, where are you, fellas? Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No, I think... Spare me. Go, tell the friends you have left what happened here. Pardons. How did Haytham give help create this guy? Haytham, how did a thousand pardons create badass fucking Connor? Well, I mean, he just he just gave half his genes. He did not raise him, so that makes sense. <laughs> well, he didn't know he existed, so there's that. It's all Zio and the and the the rest of the tribe. Yeah, his hood is down. Uh, don't get me started on Haytham, okay? He's a silver fox, I know, but I'm mad at him. And I think it's okay that I'm mad at him, okay? Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land. But I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. <laughs> He's a diplomat. <laughs> He's intense for sure. But also, like, if you're on his... Huntress? <gasps> Huntress! I love that! If you're on his good side, you have nothing to worry about. Like, he will protect you. Seems like a very good moral compass, too. Miriam's a huntress. Uh, what does this mean? It means a body? Oh, a never mind. So she will give me... So I... What about the naval missions? Are they important? If you see her in the street, walking by herself, Talking by yourself, have pity. If you hurt a friend of Connor, oh boy, you're about to die. Mm hmm. Tribal leader, yeah. I mean, if I get to do the cannons and stuff. <laughs> Thanks for being such a positive attitude, Zeki. After I conducted a trial on you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, the peg leg trinkets. I do. I don't want to disappoint anyone, but uh, like me as Megan personally, I do get seasick. Mostly if I'm like, it's weird. I'm pretty good on boats. But then if I have like a, a life jacket on. And I'm just kind of like snorkeling with a life jacket on and it's like the buoyancy. Then it's no good. So. Trading. Let's see. I have three. Oh, I need this. What do I need of kin kindling and iron ore? So how do I get kin kindling and iron ore? 
Trading? I want to buy. Oh, okay. So I have to buy the arrows. Is there anything I can make? <laughs> nope. There's nothing I can make. All right. So this game is really fun. I don't think I can craft anything yet. I don't, it didn't say I could craft anything yet. Oh, you mean maybe if I go down? Oh, besties, I don't think I. I used to get car sack. I'm sack. <laughs> I used to too, but then I trained myself not to, like when I would read, and now I can read in a car. Because <laughs> I was, I was desperate. Special items, boo boo boo, materials, nope. No, I can't make anything. I'm freaking poor. <laughs> car sack! Boston! Viking! I'm doing good. I'm much better now that you're here. Hi. I can't. I can't make that. Besties, you don't understand. I'm poor. <laughs> I'm poor. Should I do this peg leg mission? Pineapple? Yes? Okay. Yeah, what happened to my $21,000? I still have it, but... <gasps> it's a literal peg leg person. Like, it's it's the what peg do leg. I owe this great honor, Captain? It's the peg leg. The letters leg. you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find his the men, face? you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, it is. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. He's you the captain give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? <laughs> like what? Where? <laughs> Use your imagination, Captain. There's interesting swag all over the frontier. Swag. <laughs> That's cute. Find one trinkets for Pegleg. I will. Is he technically a, a captain or the captain? Being the only actor. Where did Faulkner go? He's a retired assassin? Where did he go? Who are you? Oh, game person. Right, but okay, here's a trinket. I tried to get it when I was a boy. He is. Oh, it's thanks to him that the ship was repaired after all. And, and then in his trial run, he did great. That's so lovely. We're just starting off as the captain of the ship. Associate, okay. Oh, that's not very nice of me. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, it was a fast Yama. kill. Oh. Does anyone know what that means? What he said before he skinned the wolf? I recognize that sound. I recognize. Reminded of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not laughing. <laughs> I 
am. I'm just overwhelmed with emotion. That's so precious. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. Last worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I love that. I will be back for the rest. <laughs> okay. Captain Kid's treasure. <laughs> Let it all. That is just so precious. I love the blue. A little bit of red. Oh, a kid mission in the naval section. He goes. Nice. Oh, wait. Boston. Let's go to the mall today. I will not choose Darth. I will not choose. Where do I change my outfits? It's it's in the downstairs of that house. He wears his hood here. Hey, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to do like pretty much everything in this game. So by the time we get to the next one, what's the next game after this? Um, it's going to be next year. Where's the page? Go, go, go. No! Hi, Tan. We're doing good. You can take on all of them. Yeah, but will I? Should I? Would have, could have, should have. Get that flag out of my out of my Boston. Who are you? Oh. Why would I give you that stuff? What are you talking about? Why would I give you... Yuck. Money. Oh, that's true. Can I pet you here? Yes. That's a good boy. Like he was like, hello. Whoops. Where? Where? Okay. I don't think that's my horse. Oh! 
Okay. Get up. I'm never gonna get this. It went sideways. <sighs> I know, I always lose it. Sorry. Find and kill the fort's captain. Won't suffice, Sam. We need to act. I hear Sam. Sorry, I'm trying to get a paper. It's a piece of paper. You understand. I don't understand. Ah, this is so annoying. The papers are so annoying. Just forget it. Just forget it. Hey, buddy. Again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Oh. Now. Oh, what I forgot I to read for my emails. I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman. At least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Oh. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops. Or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. Um. The people here are no freer than sorry. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal. And not in turns. It's in turns or not at all. We must compromise... You know how long it took, bro? It's my home, no matter I'm what a loyalist the now. If the comes in no more patriots. Property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves. <laughs> it's not open for discussion. That's bullshit. Now open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! The bullets, we're coming in. Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. true I fireball to send more. and that's how they that's how they rationalized it it's like okay it'll be your turn next you all right and then it's like i'm fine it's not my first so many dance. years after for all their teeth and claws these little foxes they fight like puppies <laughs> thank you my friend i'd buy you a nail but uh, i'm expecting somewhere else I love that he doesn't talk to fill a silence. 
You know what I mean? He's just... <laughs> Take a little second. Hey. <laughs> oh! No, not the walking backwards, please. No. <laughs> oh, they're stealing my loot from my bodies? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I know I did. I petted you. You want another pot? That's a good boy. Gotta kill more people, okay? I'll see you later. Here you go. What's this mean? Dispose of the tax collectors? Hell yeah! three is it that one are you a is that a tax collector i killed three oh <laughs> oh three minutes about to kill an innocent hey nothing to see over here what's this oh is this the bribing honorable gentlemen claim it is not so much the amount Three yeah bribe right and then I love that they kept that for so long. Did I did I steal my money back? Pineapple? The Thomas wait. Assassin Tomahawk. Aww. Can you not steal back your money from when you bribe someone. Yes! Oh, so graceful. Hold B, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You want yeah, it isn't an AC game without doing that at least once. You gave me scare Meg, but don't worry. Okay, good. I won't worry. Dun, dun, da, la, la, la. The matters, so as to bring a thousand pounds. <laughs> I was like, where's my dad? Where? No, he's behind me. 
Thank you so much, Pam, for the 100 bits. <laughs> That's gonna scare the shit out of me. My Templar dad is here. Oh. Sometimes I can still hear his voice. Pardons. A thousand pardons, son. I didn't know you existed. He's showing up late to the meeting with Starbucks. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Hey. Hey. Uh Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we <laughs> must address, Samuel. That's for not paying Samuel. child support. <laughs> then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that wait, stage. Wait, 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 wait. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. <gasps> One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands. Without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. Mm -hmm. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this what I think it is? Connor, are we about to do to the, the Boston and Tea to the Party? Destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. See to the destruction of the tea. No, I <sighs> I know all the British people are shaking, peeing, Pardon throwing me. up. Oh, come on, mate. Burn it. We're coffee people. We want cappuccinos. Limit fire arm. How do I destroy it? Step, step, stomp, stomp, stomp. Fuck you, T. <laughs> that was kind of rude, Connor. <laughs> Here we go. nonsense okay yeah leave me the coffee well i'm not gonna do that right now he took like six bullets i know i'm sorry Collectors. No worries, Shin. Welcome back. Use powder kegs to destroy. Smuggle cargo. 
How do I use... Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I just... Be careful if I were you. Wait, why is that guy standing on the box? <laughs> I don't have arrows. Where's more bot? Is this T? No. I'm so sorry you had to go through that, Shin, but I hope everything's okay. What's the difference between the tomahawk and the hidden blade in terms of like is uh the hidden blade more low profile pineapple oh i love his fighting with it Oh my god, I'm so sorry that all the British people in chat are just absolutely crying, screaming, <laughs> throwing up. Hey, Disney Thunder. That's just a personal preference. Okay, nice. Thanks. Um... <laughs> My apologies. You can't silently assassinate with a tongue. We'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it. It's really hard to aim. I'm not the best bowler. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, we can just drop it. Why am I throwing it? You know? Yeah. And then... Oh, the puppies are eating. All right, one more.
I feel amazing. Pineapple on pizza. Where did you get that emote? Oh, perfect. Liberate the district from Templar influence. Oh, so they're building a ship? This is them building a ship. Oh, that's so cool, though. No one went to investigate the explosions. Don't let me shoot again. How could you not love him? the way this guy died rich pose yogi right here oh no i'm not killing any more smugglers this is ridiculous Trying to liberate the district from Templar influence right now.
killing major Templars right now. Sorry. And I had the time of my life, and I never felt this way before. <laughs> yeah! And I swear this is true, and I owe it on you. That was fun. Sorry. Thousand pardons. Good night, Lady Crazy Nuts. This seems like a side quest. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed. Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Oh shit. I'm defending him. I need to buy some arrows. Don't let me for forget, chat. Oh, regardez! Some pathetic no. redcoats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your jacket, Captain! I don't think I'm gonna get the optional exclusive. <laughs> Don't mind me. Zeki. You've been back seating again. So we're gonna have another public trial. Ay ay ay. Oh wait, I have I have arrows. I don't know where I got them. Oh, from guards, I guess. Coquins me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qu'ils me ravissent ma propriété ici. Il suffit. 
Hi, Marissa. Um, I think that we should probably just ban him. Because he's gotten, like, a lot of chances. So let's just ban and... and discuss and ban we are not appeals we are not the king's men. okay we are free but the king sends these red coats to push us around okay. they are not our masters this is our city let's show them who owns it it's time to fight yeah nap time Stefan, please stop <laughs> Stefan, and listen you to need me to calm down. i've listened for long enough they come into my home and take my things I will get my it's revenge. hard. It's hard, though. The He's... man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. This is like when Caleb has to defend my You're anger tantrums. Englishman, I'll give you what you want. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. So many weapons. Oh, low profile assassinations. Hey, red goats, your king. I don't think that's gonna happen. Wow, I like their outfits. I love kilts. Okay, um, wait, sorry. Switch to this. I figured that out, Master Punk. This tantrum's lasting a while. Stomping his feet. I will match your face to your jacket, Capul. I know, it's like such a tantrum. Yeah, chat has been better today. <laughs> <That's good. Destroyed? laughs> Comparatively, it has been better. <laughs> I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea mm. just spontaneously combusted. Uh oh. Nonsense. It is. It is. Responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. You see your assassin recruits already. Oh. 
bloody hell are you? <laughs> Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Mm. Uh, Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Yeah. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. <laughs> I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what is worth. Aww. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Aww. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. I love that he's on the roof, too. Is he the angry chef? I got an axe. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was like Sweeney Todd. That was very graphic. Well, I'm going to end here. Perfect episode length for YouTube. Um, Sweeney didn't have such a blade. Counting book. Oh. So I can... <gasps> So, actually, I would love uh, a general pineapple for crafting and, like, all this stuff. I don't like figuring this out on my own. I'm not attached to figuring this out on my own. I like figuring out, like, combat and stuff. They have Connor's accounting book? <laughs> oh, most of it can't be done until endgame. Oh. So it's more just buy shit and sell? But people told me to hold on to freaking... Would like... They told me to hold on to th everything. I've been freaking hoarding stuff. Like, look, a hundred pounds. I could be making... So what do I do with this stuff? Right. So what like what are some go-to things I should be making for the convoys? Does it matter if it's sold at a... Let's see. Thanks, everyone, for your help. Thanks! I just don't know why people told me to hold on to this and I'm not sure why. So 
So I did make more money from the convoy. Okay, so it's not... There's not a... Beaver pelt? Why do I have... Do I really? Oh, purchase. Okay. Well, the pelts are gone. <laughs> I just sold the pelts because people told me to! Have that one stone. I can get this axe. Do I? I don't want to spend a thousand pounds on it. Oh, yeah, you can get items from Miriam. Oh, that's very expensive. Outfits! Oh, do I have to buy this? Or will I unlock it later? Oh, I like this one. Oh, I can't afford it. Well, I can... Ezio's outfit. Oh. Wait, purchased. No, I don't have this one. I love this one. Maybe I should just... I don't know what to do. Oh. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to bother with this. I'm going to enjoy his OG dive for a little bit because it really suits him. And I'm going to go away. <laughs> I'm going to leave. Next time, can y'all remind me to... Um... Can you remind me to... Oh. Let's read the emails right now. Because I'll probably forget. I actually got a bunch of arrows. Interesting. The spear used by Connor during his spirit journey is clearly first civilization in origin. It appears to function as some sort of temporal calculator. It's essentially a crystal ball, but one that actually works. This can't be coincidental, which begs the question, are there others out there? Oh, God. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's Juno. Juno, stop sending spam. <laughs> Sent to Desmond. It works. I should hardly be surprised. Electrical impulses move from one pathway to another. Is this Juno spamming me? Our word for them was more akin to road. It is yet difficult to project a thought from one medium to another, and yet it works. It works. Bro. Juno, get the fuck off. I've been doing some digging on Atham's blades. Still not 100% sure where they came from. My initial instinct was that he started out as an assassin. I believe his father was one, in fact, but it appears he was a Templar from pretty early on. Maybe he took them from someone. It's happened before, and they're quite handy. I some, I'm surprised more Templars haven't put them to use. Pretty easy to build a pair if you know what you're doing. Oh, blades. I was like, what? I have... <laughs> I found a way to better control the impulses to formulate a thought and <laughs> Yeah, about the girl and Juno's gonna spam us with those chain emails <laughs> about the girl in the well. <laughs> Send this 
to eight people or your mom dies. Dad, a sense of structure, a sense of order. You fear order. Your kind, the gentle hand tends the flock. It is a kindness. So as to bring a thousand pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Meg Twitch didn't tell me, but Sergio did. Apparently as of now I have been bothering you for a year Aww. now, and do not expect me to leave any time soon. Let us have another year filled with wonderful chaos, Megmage, oh, chaos, Megmage, love. Year. Viking, thank you for the hundred bits and the one year of friendship. Thank you. You've all proved unworthy of our gifts. Okay, Juno, just write it in your fucking diary. Looks like rude Juno's really taking a shine to you. I suggest you don't engage her. <laughs> This there isn't a time to go down that rabbit hole. It's sure to prove a badger's den. Besides, this whole experience is actually that final door. Salvation was it, but for us, who knows? Here we sit working towards something we know next to nothing about. But it's our only chance, so there's that, I suppose. <laughs> Dude, Sean. Subject, leave him alone. From zero one zero zero zero. You should not meddle in. A <laughs> <laughs> do not concern you. <laughs> Lol, somebody doesn't like me. <laughs> All these Juno visits and emails too apparently have got me thinking. What happened to Tania and Minerva? They're the ones who invited us to this little apocalypse party and now they've gone and buggered off. A little inconvenient, not to mention rude. I'll try and poke around later, see if there's not some sign of what happened to them. Am I the only one who thinks we should buy a few space heaters? Maybe a couple of jackets, too? It's cold down here. I sort of figured that as we powered the place up, it'd, like, turn on its climate control systems or something. Guess not. Maybe the first civvies like it this way? All I know is I don't. So I'd really like for us to pick up some sort of heating solution the next time we head out, please. Abstergo is definitely on to us. Most of the power sources I was tracking are gone. Guess they're rushing to snap them up now that they know what we're up to. We've got the other cells scouting for us, running interference, trying to grab anything they can. It's just hard with our numbers and their resources. <laughs> okay, so I'm honestly obsessed with this. I just want to be alone right now. Well, I didn't want to talk to you. I'm obsessed with Juno just being like a, a fucking grandma, <laughs> not knowing how <laughs> technology works. John is meant to get all the Jane emails. 